Hey guys, Pedro here from MyColorScreen.com, giving you another Android home screen tutorial. Today we're going to be taking a look at a home screen by the infamous Gary Arts here on My Color Screen. Now he made a home screen named Dark Yellow. He's actually inspired from the Z3 World watches, which I know probably many of you guys never heard of. I'll put a link down below to actually show you what he got inspired from, along with a home screen here uh, by Nick. Uh, but, you know, he made his own little version, this dark yellow type version. This looks really sweet. Uh, this is actually probably one of the most unique UCCWs that I've seen. Once again, this is inspired from another user, but, you know, he made up his own little version. So here it is on the HTC One, named Dark Yellow. It is a very gorgeous looking home screen. All you 1080p screen users out there and you 720p screen users out there are going to absolutely love this home screen. But as I always say, enough of me talking. Let's get this gorgeous looking home screen onto your Android device right now. Alright guys, here is Dark Yellow by the infamous Gary Arts here on MyColorScreen.com. He is back again with another beautiful home screen setup for you guys today. Now this is supposed to be taking an inspiration from the Z3 row or the Zyro uh, Saturn watches, which is a very cool looking watch and this actually looks just like it. On the top here you have your ultimate custom clock widget, which is actually a clock along with the middle, which is the temperature. Down here you got some sweet custom icons to your phone, email, messages, file manager, and browser. This is a very slick looking home screen, especially for your 1080p screens out there. You guys are going to absolutely love this home screen. But as I always say, let's get this gorgeous home screen onto your Android device right now. Okay guys, the first step to recreate this home screen is of course we're going to hop right into our Nova settings. Now I do believe this does work on Apex, but I have not tested it personally, so you could do so with your own will, setting up your own uh, settings accordingly. So we're going to write into desktop, write into desktop grid, and I'm going to make sure that's a 9 by 7 desktop grid. After that, our width margin is going to be set to none. Also with our height margin, it's also going to be set to none. Our persistent search bar is going to be shut off completely, and we are not going to show the shadow. If you scroll down, we're going to make sure that resize all widgets is checked and under advanced that widget overlap is checked and overlap when placing is checked. We're going to go right to our dock and we're going to shut it off completely. You do not need a dock for this home screen. We're going to go right down to look and feel. And we're going to make sure that we do not show the notification bar. And that is it for your Nova Launcher settings. Alright, so for your home screen setup, since we have all our Nova settings or Apex Launcher settings all set up, we're going to make sure that we have one home screen, not multiple ones, like two or three, just one. Now you guys are going to download the files down below for the wallpapers and usips that he provided. So we're going to hold down our screen. Now if you guys transferred all the wallpapers into your phone, we should just going to go right into wallpapers, go right into gallery. And in here, I'm going to have it under what I named it, which is dark yellow. Then I'm going to select the wall that he made for us. And on the bottom, I'm going to make sure that it fills for portraits so it can fit the entire screen. Now, if you guys, this doesn't work for you, you guys can simply use a uh, quick pick or multi pick live wallpaper or whatever wallpaper app of choice that allows you to fill the entire screen. So, when that's done, I'm going to hit OK. And then it should set the wallpaper. And there you guys have it. This is the wallpaper setup for dark yellow. Next, we're going to be setting up our ultimate custom clock widgets. Alright, so for our ultimate custom clock widgets, we're going to hold down our home screen. We're going to go right down to widgets. And we're going to scroll all the way down until we see UCCW. Sorry about that. We're going to go right into widgets. Scroll all the way down until we see UCCW. Just like that. And then we're going to go right down to a 3x3. Three three. Now when that is done, when you guys transferred all the UZIPs on your phone, on the top right, we're going to select UZIP. And then we're going to navigate to the file where you put it in your phone. I put it under dark yellow, so it should be right here. And it should only be one use it, so it's dark underscore yellow use it. Select it. I already have it, so I'm going to override it. And I'm going to touch here, and it's going to be this cool looking clock uh, and weather thing. So we're going to resize it so it fits the screen accordingly. Now you guys can make it fit just like that, or you guys can make it smaller, it's all personal preference. I'm going to leave it just like that. Next, we're going to be setting up our custom icons down on the bottom dock. Alright guys, the last step needed to recreate this beautiful home screen by Gary Arts. We're going to be selecting our custom icons that for the dock down below. So we're going to hold down our home screen, go into Nova Actions or Apex Actions, all depends on your launcher. 
and we're going to bring down our app drawer. Now the first app that we're going to bring down is phone and I'm going to put it right in the circle just like that. Next is going to be your email client of choice and put it right next to the phone. Then after that we're going to be using our messaging app of choice. Bring it down below just like that. And next we're going to be using our file manager of choice. Now I'm, going to, I'm just going to be using uh, Andro Zip and I'm just going to bring that down right there. And next will just be your browser of choice and I'm just going to be using Chrome. And now we're going to change all these icons so it actually fits the home screen itself. Alright so now we're going to go right down here to phone and we're going to hold down the icon itself. We're going to hit edit. And we're going to select the icon right next to the word and we're going to go right into our gallery. Now if you guys transferred everything correctly to your phone, it should still be under the dark yellow uh, folder which I created. And I'm going to replace it with the phone icon right there. I'm going to hit OK. And it should prepare the image to look just like that. Hit check and there it is. So next we're going to go right to mail. Hit edit. Same process. I'm going to go right into our gallery and go right down to dark yellow and then we're going to go and select the email icon which should be right there hit ok check now for messages same process hold it down go to edit select the icon go right into gallery go to dark yellow and I'm going to select the messaging icon hit ok check and we are almost done guys now for your file manager, we're going to go and select it again, hold it down, and go to edit. Select the icon, go right into gallery, go right back down to dark yellow, and then we're going to select the file manager icon, which is right there. Hit OK. And for the last icon, guys, to finally complete this home screen setup, is your browser of choice. We're going to hold down our browser, go to edit, select the icon go to gallery and then we're going to go right back down to dark yellow and then we're going to select the browser icon which is right there select that hit ok hit check now you guys are finally done and now we're just going to drag this app drawer away and put it right there and there you guys have it this is dark yellow by Gary Arts this is a very beautiful home screen this is inspired by the Zyro uh, watches, which is a really cool, unique design. I'm glad he actually made a home screen that looks just like this. Well, it is inspired, but this looks very gorgeous on any home screen. This is Pedro from MyClusscreen.com. Make sure to check out our Google Plus profile, and to make sure to check our Instagram also, our Twitter, and to make sure that you subscribe down below. This is Pedro from MyClusscreen.com, and I'll catch you guys.